I'm Hannah Noble. My friends, close friends, call me Dun or Dunak. I was born in Anchorage because my mom was high pregnancy risk, but then we quickly went back to where I'm originally from, to Tuliak, Alaska. So I worked on the Protos Farm um, out in the Butte, Gold Nugget Farms. And then I worked here at the fair as a gardener for a few years because the season was longer. So it was from like, I did the spring work, so I would be here, because the greenhouse is on the fairgrounds, right? So I was here from like February till November, so that was a lot better. And then I found Becky. Well, Becky found me, I think. <laughs> yeah, like she, um, yeah, I was really surprised when she hired me. I like came in a ruffled leather jacket with like, studded pants and like <laughs> I did not think I was gonna get a gardening job but I did and I absolutely fell in love with it and I was here for years. It reminds me of beading. The bright colors and the flowers and the intricate designs that Becky creates like for months, a long time. I don't know how much time she spends on it but it's not easy work. So yeah, just like all of that and like learning it and changing it and combinations. I learned a lot about color combinations from Becky that I use in beadwork now. She always has a story for her topiary, like the uh, mammoth is Birdie. The gardeners name them, they take a flower of their choice and they give it a heart and a name with the, you know, on the inside. And it's just so much more than just flowers. <laughs> Yeah, like they just take a flower and it's the heart. It's not a real heart, you know? And then once you get the flower and you, you it's because they're filled with dirt, you bury it in there and you think of a name and it's like very, it's very like, like ceremonial. I am very, very respectful of the gardens here because I see how much work, thought, and love goes into them. And we all had to do um, a My Fair Memory essay, and I wrote about being from the rural areas and working here and how it helped me become part of the community here, because it was so easy in Bethel, because my family was there for a long time. And when we uprooted and moved here, I had to root myself. And of all places, it was a garden. <laughs> Um, my favorite garden is the perennial garden. Yeah, it's very beautiful. I always like that one. And it's here all the time, you know. I can come say hi to Becky in July when it's the prettiest, is usually when I come around <laughs> and go check it out and bring my son and teach him to respect the land and not to walk in the gardens and to go around, you know mutual respect for all the hard work that goes into making this place what it is.